because the vision of this summit is quite simply to turn our food systems from often an impediment to the achievement of the 2030 agenda to a driver of the 2030 agenda. You know, we all know the world is facing three challenges, the climate emergency, the loss of nature and mounting inequality. And there is no other system in the world where these three challenges come together as in the food system. Meeting the goal of healthy soils, soils is going to be a critical driver for the UN Sustainable Development Goals. It supports nature, it supports climate, food security and livelihood. Soil simply is the battery for life. And the farmer is at the, at the frontier. However, it's not enough to point towards the farmer to help the farmer. We need a multi-stakeholder approach. And I'm so happy that uh, next week's um, gathering brings together, obviously, the, uh, the various players and stakeholders from the private sector, from the um, non-governmental part, but more importantly, the governmental angle, because we really need a multi-stakeholder angle to get the soil health vital back on the agenda. Yeah, well, there are, there are two reasons why this event is so important for us. First of all, the problems we're facing are so big that we cannot take this on alone. So we need to collaborate and we already do with many of you and there's, there's much more to come. The second reason why this uh, event is so important for us is because agriculture is key to FMO. Uh, we are one of the few development finance institutes with a specific agri-focus. And, you know, people in the developing world have the most amount of soil and they face the biggest climate change risk, as most of us know. But globally, fi over 550 million farms exist, of which over 450 million are small family farms. And there are certain farming practices with a high risk of soil health deterioration impacting farmers directly. Yes, the world is suffering from several global crises, which are often connected through land, making soil stewardship so important. Investments in soil health will be critical to reverse degradation, increase food and nutrition security, to realize the SDGs, to reach ecosystem restoration and climate change targets. How can we translate better what we know into practice? So the issue is now how to get knowledge really to the ground. And in my view, we need to look into creating at really large scale and very systematically the spaces where researchers and practitioners, this means the users of the research, work together to test solutions and adapt them to the local context. So soil health is a crucial driver of whether farming businesses can work profitably today and tomorrow. Furthermore, regenerative agricultural practices, as mentioned by the chairman of Rabobank, are an opportunity for us to store carbon. As Michael said, um, just previously, uh, building partnerships to achieve these goals are crucial and farmers are the principal actors here and without de-risking their investments, significant be behaviour change is difficult or almost impossible. In particular, I'm going to talk about one in which we managed to integrate the ambiental matrix with the sustainability of the economic in a case very particular. Lo que hicimos para bajar de 30 y 60 toneladas de pérdida por hectárea y por año fueron terrazas sembrables. La cantidad de toneladas que nosotros estamos capturando en este momento de dióxido de carbono son 66.270. We recognize that agriculture presents one of the greatest opportunities to address climate change, biodiversity, societal challenges. And so that's why we are helping to support regenerative agriculture practices that make soil healthier, sequester carbon, improve watersheds, improve biodiversity, and strengthen farmer livelihoods. So we need more regenerative practices, more agrobiodiversity, more innovation, more farming with nature instead of against it. Farmers need to be incentivized to adopt these practices. I hope to see the public and private sectors coming together to support farmers in transitioning to more positive nature positive production without compromising, of course, the human right to safe, healthy and nutritious food. Famines, which are increasing, are in fact man-made tragedies. We must make famine and mass starvation politically intolerable, morally toxic, 
ethically unthinkable and humanly unacceptable through restoration of soil health. Soil stewardship and care must be embedded in every fruit and vegetable eaten, in each grain ground into the bread consumed, in every cup of water used, in every breath of air inhaled, in every scenic landscape cherished. Therefore, please Martin, please Agnes, it is time to take a positive action by endorsing Coalition for Action on Soil Health. To promote the mantra that good soil health is equal to good food, is equal to good human health, is equal to good ecosystem, is good planetary processes. The time to take action is now, on 23rd of September. I look forward to hearing it. Thank you.